the night sky is filled with wonders. After a busy day and the sun sets, the night sky has dazzling displays waiting for us to see. Some are in deep space, and you need powerful telescopes to see them. Nebulas made of gas and dust, spinning galaxies, stars being born, and close-ups of planets in our solar system. But you don't always need a telescope. Dazzling displays are going on in the night sky that you can see just with your eyes. Comets streaking across the sky, beautiful stars, the Milky Way, shooting stars, and the moon. The moon is a familiar friend. We can see it during the day or the night, depending on its location and phase. It's relatively close to Earth, only 240,000 miles away. It's only a three-day commute for an astronaut in a spaceship. If you took a closer look at the moon with binoculars or a small telescope, what do you think you'd see? Have you ever noticed that the moon appears to change its shape over time? It doesn't really, though. What changes is the amount of sunlight hitting the moon and reflecting back to us on Earth, known as lunar phases. Sometimes it looks like the moon is only a bright sliver of light, and we see more and more each day, until it looks like the moon is full. Natural light from the sun lights up the moon, but outside artificial lights on Earth may blind us from seeing the wonders in the night sky. Artificial light is created by people. Lights are useful to help us work and play after sundown. We use lights on porches, along streets, playing fields, and businesses. Unfortunately, the consequences of too much artificial light or light not being used correctly causes light pollution, and that's a problem. We use so many artificial lights that cities can be seen from space. Light pollution affects the health of people, animals, bugs, birds, and our enjoyment of the night sky. Let's compare two photos of a house at night outside of Toronto, Canada. What do you see in the sky over the house? Can you see any stars? The glow that you see over the house is called sky glow. It's caused by so many artificial lights being used in the city that you can't see any stars. Compare it with this picture of the same house when there was a power outage. Can you see a cloud over the house? The cloud is the Milky Way with thousands of sparkling stars that you can see once the light pollution went away. Luckily, we can all do something about light pollution. It's a choice we make. At Grand Canyon National Park, we decided to reduce our amount of light pollution from over 5,000 outdoor lights. That's a lot. We looked at where lights were needed, how many, and when. We went from having inefficient and non-essential lights to ones that put the right amount of light just where it's needed. The darker the night sky is, the more you're able to see. This is what the night sky looks like at Grand Canyon National Park. On a night where the moon isn't shining, you can see around 4,000 stars with just your eyes. People in the middle of busy cities are lucky if they can spot 15. We can see wonders through telescopes far out in space. Or we can simply look up and enjoy the view of the moon and the stars. The sky is ours to enjoy. Don't forget to check out our online activities and the web links provided to learn more. I wonder, what will you see in the sky tonight? <laughs>